Okay, I've changed guitars because I think you can see the fingering better on the maple neck. I'm going to show the chord fingerings real slowly for miles and miles of Texas. I think you saw the open chords clearly enough. That's a G chord, a C chord, an A7 and a D7. Okay, on the simplified version, there will also be an E7 down here. Those are pretty simple chords. You can find them on my chords page at uh, Randy's Guitar Clinic. Now, the bar chords, when I'm using a, when I play all those extra moves, I'm using my E form, which is a E chord, playing the finger like that, that's why we call it an E form bar. We've taken it up, it's E, F, F sharp, G, there's my G. The C chord that I'm playing is, is a modified A form. A lot of people bar this with one finger. Okay, I put my fourth finger here and bar two strings with this one. And the reason is because I often go to the seven. And I've found that by going from my seven chord to my major chord, all I have to do is lay that third finger over. So there's a C chord, C7. And then by putting this finger down, you can change the seven chord to a diminished seven chord one half step up. So here's a C7 chord. And here's a D flat diminished seven chord. That's the only C in this, in this chord. So by raising that C up one fret, we now have a D flat diminished seven, which you could also call a C sharp diminished seven. Okay. So that's one of the unusual fingerings you'll see in this song, is the diminished seven chord. If I treat this as the root, it's a D flat diminished chord. If I treat this as the root, it's a G diminished chord. Diminished seven chords are stacked. Every single note is the same distance from the other one. So you could call it, um, any one of these notes could be called as the root. So this is my D-flat diminished seven chord. Later in the song, we're going to use that exact same fingering, one fret up, and it's going to be an A-flat diminished seven chord. That's the root. And you'll hear that walk when I go from the G chord to the A-flat diminished seven chord to the A7 to the D7. Back to the G. So we've got a minor nine down here. There's my uh, third finger will be the root. We're going to play a C minor nine. Now it might look like this finger is barring down here, but I'm just not bothering to move it over to here. I'm just leaving it laying because I'm coming to that chord from a G chord. Actually, I think I go to a G7 to a C minor nine. And then the next chord is a D flat diminished seven. So as long as um, I'm, these are all bar chords, and I only need this one note, I'm not bothering to move that finger. So it looks like there's a whole incredible bar going on here, but that's really only being used for the first part of the D string, which is where we're getting the E flat, which is the minor third of this C minor nine. So there's my root, my third finger is the root, my first finger is the minor third, my fourth finger has the seven, the nine, and the five. So this is a complete C minor nine. Five in the top. So from a G to a G7, that C minor 9, to the D flat diminished 7, back to the G. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit slower here. Let's see, I was, oh, and this is the one with the extra changes. Remember, when you see that, that's my C chord, that's my D flat diminished, that's my C minor 9. Okay. Oh, yeah, and the D7, I'll go to a D augmented right here. And that's root, three, sharp five. That first finger is holding two strings. But when I go to that D augmented, the first finger is holding the third fret on both the G and the D string. That's kind of like your baby F chord. We can play it here. If you move that whole baby F chord over, one string for each finger, and pick it up two frets, that's your D augmented. There would be my G the same fingering, one string over. So that's third finger, second finger, first finger holding two strings. That's a D augmented. All you have to do is put the fourth finger down. You've got a D7. So if you finger this ahead of time, even though you've got that seven on there, then all you have to do is take that fourth finger off. Get the D augmented back to the G. So I was born in